Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Note 3 Root.com for this week's SMN900 uh, custom ROM of the week. Um, do check out VN ROM. Uh, this is a ROM I've used on the Note 2 or the S4 before. And a pretty solid ROM by a pretty good developer. Uh, right off the bat, you'll be able to get uh, multi-window um, enabled for all apps natively. So you just have to install a new app. It will show up here. You just have to add it to your multi-window. Um, and also does come with Pen Window Manager app, uh, which allows you to add your favorite apps so you can do the floating uh, window with your S Pen at any of your favorite apps. Make sure you hit Save and Reboot um, to make that effective. And uh, other than that, you also get a nice little button here. Um, it'll lock your screen. So it's kind of nice when your you know, phone's against the wall or something and you want to hit the power button, you can just do that. So nice little feature I've seen uh, on several different ROMs and uh, kind of like that feature. Also, you'll see a nice little kilobytes per second. So when your phone is actually using data, see it's right now, it's using 71 or 214 kilobytes per second. Um, this can be great to kind of monitor your internet usage because sometimes some apps I know on the Play Store are kind of uh, hideous and they start downloading a bunch of other apps you don't want. And you know, if that happens, that thing will just pop up to like, you know, uh, real high, even though you're not using that app. Um, so nice little, little feature of, of course, you do get a uh, four-way reboot menu, so you can go straight into recovery, download mode, hot reboot. Um, and also you do get one -arm Expose app for tweaking your UI. And uh, make sure you go to framework. When you first start this app, um, go ahead and hit the first option here. Make sure you hit install update when it turns green. Go ahead and choose modules. Make sure one-arm Expose is checked on reboot once and then you'll be able to actually make use of all of the uh, features that Wanam Expose brings. Uh, a couple of features I can show you real quick is uh, if you hit the volume up while your screen's off, this is going to stay on for 30 seconds uh, or however long you set it. You can actually set that in lock screen here. Um, go to hidden flashlight settings, set how long you want to turn your torch on. Uh, and there's a bunch of great stuff like uh, lock screen rotation. Um, you know, I forgot to reboot, but it works. Uh, I just have to reboot. Some of these features you actually do have to reboot to actually show um, the effect. And also phone options, um, you get a bunch of different phone options. Now, I do have a full demo of when I'm exposed, how to use it. So definitely check that out. I'll put that on my site. I don't want to go over it uh, for those of you who probably watched that video already. And also it does come with Flash Player on board. Now this is not gonna work with your stock browser. Make sure you download Dolphin Browser, uh, go into Settings, Enable Flash Player, and you'll be able to browse Flash Enable sites. Also, uh, 4.3 Photosphere Camera, you can definitely get um, advantage of the extra camera. I mean, one thing I really like about Samsung devices is that you can get both the Samsung camera and a USB camera. What I use the Samsung camera is uh, for most of the daily uh, usage. I think it's just a better camera. It's got burst mode. Um, it's got all of these uh, neat options. You can do slow motion. Whereas the USB camera, I don't use it much, but I really find it handy uh, whenever I need to do Photosphere. I mean, this is the best as it gets, the best camera out there. So that's why I use it. It's got two cameras, also two galleries. Um, it does have an extra gallery, so you can check out the Photosphere camera after you actually took it. Uh, other than that, this ROM does come with uh, performance and battery uh, improvements over stock. So definitely, this is going to give you better uh, battery life and also uh, excellent performance over stock. And all Samsung Knox security stuff have been removed. I mean, you know, I don't know why Samsung decided to include Knox in the consumer versions of Note 3. It is actually targeted for uh, business users. For us, it's just more useless and also for custom ROMers and routing, um, it's just gonna be more, you know, more steps in the way. Um, just totally unnecessary to have knocks. Uh, the best security you can really have, you know, is your backups. Um, also, well, you know, having a screen security at least, um, stuff like that. I, I don't really believe in knocks though. Um, other than that, pretty solid ROM. And uh, I think I did show you the battery styles here, right? I think I did. Anyway, 
check it out for this week's ROM of the Week. Pretty solid ROM. Um, you know, it's going to keep you stocked without all that knock stuff and uh, some additional mods. And also, there are additional mods you can do, like Viper for Android, um, definitely LMT Pi Launcher, stuff like that. Um, I'll also put that on my site so you can you guys can go ahead and manually install it after the installing the ROM um, to make your phone better. Anyway, it's getting kind of long. Um, check it out for this week's ROM of the week. If you do have model number SMN900, do not flash unless you have an SMN900. Uh, otherwise, you'll break your phone. And uh, that's the last warning I'm going to give you. And thanks, you guys, for watching this video. As always, if you have a Galaxy Note 3, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxynote3root.com. Also, I have the link uh, in the YouTube description below. Yo. Yeah. And thanks, guys, for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also, check out Video of the Week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.